so now let us move to the next problem if sin inverse x minus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 6 then find the value of x see this problem can be done in two ways suppose if you say sin inverse x is equal to a x is equal to sin a next cos inverse x is equal to b then x is equal to cos b then if you apply sin of uh, this is alpha minus beta is equal to pi by 6 if you apply sin of alpha minus beta you will get the answer otherwise so we can adopt the other method also so we have the relation ship between sin inverse x and cos inverse x we know the formula sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equals to pi by 2 so that means the given one is the first equation and we have one of the formulae that is sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 solving these two we get the one of the values that we can find out sin inverse x if you know the sin inverse x easily you can find out x value so better it had better to follow the second method now so now in this problem what is given the given is sin inverse x minus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 6 so now we have to make use of formula so after solving the both the equations we get sin inverse x value so that x can be evaluated so now let us solve it given that sin inverse x minus cos inverse x equals to pi by 6 say this is equation 1 we know that we know that sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equals to pi by 2 this is the formula now solving equation 1 and equation 2 so they appears to be linear equations into variables itself only so that means sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equals to pi by 2 which is equal to 90 sin inverse x minus cos inverse x equal to pi by 6 which equal to 30 now what happens this this gets cancelled sin inverse x plus sin inverse x is 2 sin inverse x equals to this is 90 plus 30 90 plus 30 is how much you will be getting 120 so 120 we can write like this see that is 2 pi by 3 pi by 3 is 60 16 to 120 this 2 2 gets cancelled we have otherwise you can write like this 2 sin inverse x is equal to 2 pi by 3 2 2 gets cancelled we have sin inverse x equal to pi by 3 so by the definition of the inverse trigonometric function here we can write x equals to sin of pi by 3 so therefore x is equal to sin 60 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 so this is the value so now the equation has been solved x is equal to root 3 by 2 even if you have doubt you can check it here sin inverse root 3 by 2 sin inverse root 3 by 2 is equal to here we get this value equal to sin inverse root 3 by 2 is sin 60 sin 60 means pi by 3 you get and minus cos inverse root 3 by 2 that is 30 see now lcm is 6 3 pi minus pi that will be pi by 3 see pi by 3 so that will be uh, 2 pi this is 6 1 wait see one thing 
x is equal to root 3 by 2. So, root 3 by 2 means sin inverse root 3 by 2 is sin 60 pi by 3 you can write minus this is cos inverse root 3 by 2 cos 30 pi by 6 here LCM is 6 2 pi minus pi so pi by 6. So, like this you can verify this equation also. So, let us solve one more problem. If tan was x plus tan was y plus tan was z is equal to pi by 2, then prove that x y plus y z plus z x is equal to 1. So, that means if he says tan was x is equal to a, this will be tan was x y is equal to b, tan was x z is equal to c. So, that means a plus b plus c is equal to pi by 2 that is 90 degrees. So, if a plus b plus c is equal to 90 degrees, what about x, what about y and what about z? The x becomes tan a, y becomes tan b, so z becomes tan c. So, that means indirectly we need to prove tan a into tan b plus tan b into tan c plus tan c into tan a equals to 1 provided a plus b plus c is equal to 90 degrees. You might be recollecting. Already this problem we have solved in compound angle chapter. So, that means it is very easy to solve. So, that means as we are needed to prove sigma tan a tan b is equal to 1 or else tan a tan b plus tan b tan c plus tan c tan a is equal to 1. So, that method has to be adopted. The before going to that one, we have to convert in terms of tan a tan b tan c. So, that is why we have to assume the values first. So, let us consider. Let tan inverse x equals to a then tan a is equal to x. So, in the similar manner tan inverse y equals to b tan b equals to y. tan inverse z equals to c then tan c equals to z. Now, here take the left hand side LHS is x y plus y z plus z x. Now, what is x actually here tan a? So, tan a tan b plus tan b tan c plus tan c tan a. It need to be proved as 1. Say this is equation 1 first. And here observe if this is a, this is b, this is c, we get like this here a plus b plus c equals to pi by 2. So, this is very important we will get it now. So, now here we can write a plus b is equal to 90 minus c. Apply tan function on both sides. Applying tan function on both sides apply tangent function. on both sides. Applying tangent function on both sides, tan of a plus b equals to tan of 90 minus c. Now, just let us have a question of ourselves. So, what is the value of tan of a plus b? So, that can be expanded. See, 
tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b am i correct equals to tan of 90 degrees minus c that is complementary angle tan 90 minus c becomes cot c so cot c again this cot c can be replaced 1 by tan c because tangent and cotangent are multiplicative inverses so this we can write tan a plus tan b by or upon 1 minus tan a tan b equals to 1 by tan c cross multiplication takes place here just cross multiply like this so this is you can write like this tan c tan a plus tan b tan c equals to 1 minus tan a tan b bring minus tan a tan b that means indirectly transpose minus tan a tan b to left hand side towards left hand side so now this can be written like this tan a tan b plus tan b tan c plus tan c tan a equals to 1 now from LHS or from equation 1 what do you write so from equation 1 LHS is equal to xy that is in the directly we can write now this becomes 1 xy plus yz plus zx equals to 1 this is RHS. Hence, it is followed. 